Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Friends, I'm Mir Muhammad Wasik on your channel, Mir's Electro World. Today, the topic on which uh, we are going to talk is the Morse code. Before I proceed towards how you built a wireless Morse code transmitter at home, I'll tell you a little history of it. Uh, Morse code was uh, invented by American uh, artist uh, and a painter. Uh, his name is Samuel Morse. He invented the Morse code. Now, what exactly the Morse code is, Morse code is basically, it's uh, a sort of, a, a, you can say like radio waves on two different levels, right? Two different lengths. That's what it means. It means with the help of uh, dots and the dashes, we are transmitting intelligence or information from one place to the other place. So Samuel Morse come with this uh, Morse code transmitter and uh, that was the first time uh, we transmit text from one place to the other place. But Samuel Morse was using the one uh, in which we are connecting the transmitter and the receiver with a physical medium or a wire. Uh, Later on, Marconi comes on the scene, right, with a wireless um, Morse code or a wireless telegraph system. And uh, he successfully um, transmit uh, uh, cross-Atlantic uh, uh, wireless uh, telegraph, right? So Marconi used uh, at his time the transmitter. His transmitter was a spark gap uh, transmitter with the help of an induction coil, right? Uh, a spark gap transmitter was sending a high burst of radio wave on AM band, right? And the receiver is uh, just an antenna and a coheder, right? Coheder is a little, uh, you can say like it's an electromagnetic sensor that sends the weak electromagnetic waves and uh, uh, you can say like uh, we can uh, use coheder in the, you can say like in the, uh, in the initial, um, devices that we built uh, uh, like the one Marconi uh, was used, right? Today we are going to make a, a wireless Moscow transmitter, right? Uh, it's very easy for you to make one at home. For uh, this purpose, you need a couple of components, right? I'll tell you what are the components. Well, we need a breadboard. Obviously, we need a breadboard to uh, design our circuit. We need a triple five timer IC. Now, this is a triple five timer IC we need, right? And uh, we need a 100 ohm resistor. This is the 100 ohm resistor, right? We need one. This is the resistor that we need. And uh, we need Morse key. I'll show you how I make the Morse key here. It's, uh, it looks like a Morse key, right? I make it with a, a piece of a strip. This is a piece of a strip. I cut it, right? And make it like this. And I place one end of the strip on the board. This is the wooden board, right? And uh, there's a gap. And I place a screw here, right? So when I invert the key like this, right, it comes on the screw. So whenever I touch it, it will just uh, do the interrupt, right? Interrupt for the circuit, right? In this way, we'll send the dots and the dashes. Uh, we call them the Morse code, right? So let's uh, come to the circuit. I'll tell you what exactly the circuit looks like, right? And this is the Morse code. For A, we have a dot and then we have a dash. With the help of this key, uh, we, uh, we are selecting the different lengths of the radio waves, right? This is a dot like, and if I press it for a little long, it will generate a, a dash. So this is dot and this is dash, right? So the combination of the dots and the dashes, uh, uh, we, we are able to transmit text from a transmitter to the receiver, right? For A, we have a dot and a dash. B, we have a dash and three dots. For C, we have a dash, then dot, then dash, and dot, and then and so on, right? So in this way, we are transmitting text from one place to the other place, uh, without wires today and uh, we need a triple five timer IC we need uh, this uh, 100 ohm resistor uh, we need a couple of jumper wires right uh, we need an antenna if you don't have any antenna you can use any of a wire right uh, it, it, a meter long wire anyhow I'm using this as a monopole antenna that I'm using today uh, normally we call it a Marconi aerial right uh, and next is the Morse code key this is the Morse key and I I already show you how to make this one, right? I just place a little, uh, you can say like this is a, um, a, a 
it's a plastic uh, cap here right just to make it a little uh, decent right so we need a capacitor right it's a 33 uh, microfarad capacitor 63 volts uh, this is the capacitor here right 33 microfarad one right and we uh, we need another capacitor this is uh, uh, 47 microfarad this is the more 47 microfarad capacitor right and this is uh, led and uh, a little resistor to connect the uh, power here right uh, on the power rail right so uh, just for identification of the power is coming onto the circuit or not so these are the components uh, we are uh, let's start first of all we uh, we have to place the ic right this is the cut side of the ic so i'm placing the ic on the breadboard right ic is placed so the upper one this is the cut side so this one is the first pin, the second pin, third, fourth pin. This is the fifth pin. This is the sixth, seventh, and eighth pin. So now we need these uh, connection cables to make the circuit. Here you see pin number eight is connected to the positive voltage. So I'm connecting pin number eight. This is pin number eight, right, to the positive rail. This outer one is the positive rail. It's connected. Now I'm connecting... Uh, eight and the four it's bypassed with the wire right so pin number eight is bypassed with pin number four pin number eight is this is pin number eight it is bypassed with pin number four this is pin number four so it's done the next is uh, we are connecting eight and seven with the 100 ohm resistor uh, we are connecting eight and seven with the 100 ohm resistor this is the 100 ohm resistor and we are connecting pin number eight and seven with this 100 ohm resistor, right? This 8 and 7 is connected with the 100 ohm resistor. That's it. Now uh, we have to connect 6, pin number 6 and 2 of this triple 5 timer IC. So 6 and 2 is connected. This is pin number 6. I'm connecting 6 with pin number 2. This is pin number 2 here. Right? 6 and 2 is connected. Now, 7 and the 2 is connected again. So, I'm connecting 7 and 2. This is pin number 7. And I'm connecting it with pin number 2. 6 and 2 is connected. And 7 and 2, 7 and 2 is already connected, right? So, now I'm going to bypass uh, pin number 2 and 1 with the 32 uh, microfarad uh, 63 volt capacitor, right? So, I'm connecting pin number 2 and 1. So, this is pin number 2 and this is pin number 1. So, it's connected, right? Now, pin number 1 is ground, grounded. So, I'm now grounding this pin number 1 to the negative rail. This is the negative rail, right? The inner one. placed yes this is done right it's grounded now <clears throat> from ground connection we are connecting a capacitor this is a 47 microfarad capacitor right and this is the capacitor from the ground i'm connecting this capacitor with the morse key or one end of the morse key so from ground this is the inner rail from the ground I'm just connecting this one right and uh, one end of the you know this Morse key will connect with this capacitor yes 47 microfarad capacitor right now the key is connected the other end of the key right this one this one is connected with the antenna right this you if you bring the camera over here right from this screw the other terminal is or other you can say like the wire is connected to the antenna and from antenna the wire again we need the wire right this wire will go on to pin number three so i'm connecting it with pin number three this is pin number three right so it's done so it looks like everything is done now i'm placing this uh, this is a led just for you know to indicate the power is coming into the circuit or not 
So I'm connecting it right. The short version will come here, and on the longer leg, we connect the resistor. And uh, we are supplying voltage. So the circuit is now it's almost ready. Now let's have a look. I'll put the, these jumper, jumper cables over here. Now the circuit is done. Uh, you will have to see the output, right? For the output, I'm connecting. This is a six volt direct current. It's a direct current. It's an adapter, right? It's a six volt adapter, and I'm just using six volt for the voltage source. Now it's connected. LED is glowing. Everything looks fine now. Now we need to turn on this receiver. This is a AM radio receiver. Okay, so we have to place. Uh, we have to select the band here. The, okay, multiple bands are here. So I'm selecting AM on like this is AM. Okay, and turning on the radio. Right. Uh, make it ready for our transmission. Now I'm placing this uh, near to uh, to my this uh, transmitter's unit right and uh, let's see what we get you see the transmission is started you have to tune it a little bit so you can easily you see now the dots in the dashes are I'm transmitting dots and dashes wirelessly right so it's good over here you see in this way You see, now the dots and the dashes, we are transmitting the dots and the dashes wirelessly on the receiver. Now the receiver is picking up these dots and dashes. And it's almost uh, tuned on uh, AM band. It's uh, nearly uh, 55 kilohertz. It's 55 to 60 kilohertz. And it's a, uh, you can say, right, you see, you it like this. Now there is, there is more connection, right? So, wirelessly we are transmitting our intelligence in the form of dots and the dashes to our receiver unit. So, that's all gentlemen it is. And uh, today, I tried to tell you uh, uh, what exactly the Morse code is and this video is uh, a bit more interesting for the people who want to generate uh, the radio waves. So they want uh, uh, to perform experiments on the radio waves. So triple five timer is uh, an ideal uh, integrated circuit to perform such sort of uh, uh, like projects. So I hope so gentlemen uh, you like my uh, uh, this uh, video and if you like it uh, click on the thumbs up button Share it with your friends uh, and uh, subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching, friends.